English Honors 2, Period 3, Mr. Arnett's class. Today we are talking about Dizzy Miller, a study. We are going to present an image with each piece of uh, support that we have for our conflict, natural reaction versus the cultured response. So here you can see a grim face. This grim face represents uh, Winterborn's grim face on the boat on the way to the big castle. Castle Shion, I think it was I called. I believe that is what it's called. It was called. actually spelled C-H-I-L-L-O-N. So on the way, uh, what's her face? Daisy. Daisy's, having, Daisy's having loads of fun on the boat. Loads. She's, she's just dancing around, smiling. And she says to uh, Winterborn, she says, Am I, she says, uh, why do you gotta look so, so grumpy? And he says, am I grave, he asked. I, I had an idea. I was grinning from ear to ear. This supports our conflict of, uh, of natural reaction versus the cultured response because Winterborn's reaction at first was, uh, oh, he's having fun. He likes it. But he doesn't show that because his cultured response is because he's lived in Geneva for so long. Europeans tend to be more reserved and grim in this case. That's a very good point, James. Thank you. Then we go to example two, which is um, Daisy showing up to the party. Right. Her natural reaction would be showing up at the party on time. But because she's American, she went to the party late. Because <laughs> Americans are always late. The point is that Americans, if you if you have a dog and a cat, Americans are the dog and the Europeans are the cat. How, how, what is Cats the are a bit quieter, they're more reserved, okay. they're, they're laid back. Dogs are super friendly, they're rambunctious, all right? So dog is gonna, they're gonna have a bit more fun. They're not gonna care as much for what time they show up to the party as long as they get there, right? That, that makes perfect so sense. our third example is that the aunt, Mrs. Costello, doesn't like Daisy. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like Daisy not because she's annoying, not because she's petty, not because she's ugly. She likes her because she's common. So how is this a example, Jameson? Well, the natural reaction of anyone, why, why would any normal natural person not like someone because maybe they have a little less money or maybe they treat their their butler dude mr uh so here mr. we have as our first first example outside of daisy miller is <coughs> the outsiders we chose the outsiders because the okay so take for example okay you have the socias but yeah the socias are these stuck up well they're not at rich preppy kids take for example then the the socias now, any normal person who wouldn't didn't grow up with a greaser, you know, mm -hmm. they would they'd be okay with the socias. I mean, they dress nice. They're they're nice. They're probably they, were they nice to adults. I, I'm assuming I feel like they would be nice to adults, <laughs> so they didn't get in trouble. So they were just average kids, you know. Yes. But if you grow up with a greaser, like with all these brothers and neighbors that are greasers, you're gonna grow up hating the socias, and that's the cultured response, because. Your culture, part of your culture, is to not like socias. Exactly. It's like they're enemies of the greasers. Yeah, they grew but if, up hating the socias. Exactly. But if you're not a greaser, why would you hate the socias? Hmm. So that's the natural reaction versus the cultural response. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then our next example, Romeo and Juliet, how did you interpret that as? Well, same thing, really. You have Romeo and you have Juliet. Oh, one second. Yeah, and you have like the, you have the Montagues and the Capulets disliking each other. That's the culture. Oh, that's their culture. Families. Two oh. families' cultures hating. You almost have to hate that. You other. grow up as a Montague. You hate your culture to hate the Capulet. Exactly. But your natural reaction, if you weren't a Montague, it's the Capulets are just another family. Exactly. Like Romeo and Juliet realize that you know they're not that bad. Exactly. It's the culture. Exactly. <clears throat> um. Finally, the theme that. We believe Henry uh, James wanted us to come away from Daisy Miller. Is that really what caused the pain between these characters? Is that they didn't communicate. Like, Winterborn should have made an effort to communicate that he liked Daisy Miller. Okay? He never really did. Daisy Miller should have done the same. She, you don't find out till the end that she really would have gone with Winterborn. You know, she really did love him. This theme really gives... A whole other meaning to communication is key. Yeah. Right? I totally it's like, it's agree the, with you on that it's point. It's like, it's the overall, it's like the overall entire idea mm -hmm. of the story. Like, nothing would have gone wrong if they just talked it over yeah, they, and said what they meant. That's they all they had to yeah, do. Be said honest and communicated with each other and there would have been very little conflict. 
Well, this has been I another think... successful video. Yep. Uh, please like and subscribe for more juicy content. Very juicy content. Uh, we'll see, see you next week when we discuss other um, literature. GTV is out. <laughs>